Hey guys, this here is the Dremel 3D40. I've been testing it for almost a month and a half now um, for Aniwa, which is a really cool company that uh, specifically is dedicated to reviews and comparisons, basically aggregating data about um, 3D printers in a real world context so that people can make an informed decision. Um, so Dremel was really nice uh, to give us the opportunity uh, me through Aniwa to review this 3D printer uh, which primarily is a written review so they can have that on their website and I will link to that here in the description but I did want to have a quick video component as well so you guys could kind of see some things that are maybe a little bit harder to communicate in text It is a PLA only machine, uh, that is because it does not have a heated bed and it's also a machine that is designed to work specifically with their filament. Um, it does void the warranty if you use your own filament, that doesn't mean it's impossible but um, definitely if you don't want to void the warranty then, um, then you don't use other filament. But their filament is very good, it's a little bit more expensive than, uh, than some of the off the shelf brands but it works really well and it removes some variables so some consumers I can understand will appreciate that especially since this 3D printer is actually uh, primarily marketed towards educators so um, being able to only use their filament actually might be a plus for that target market because then they don't have to worry about filament quality because like I said it is very good filament also, it has this great um, IPS color touch screen. Um, it, it feels like a resist, resistive touch screen, but it's very responsive. It's not hard um, to, uh, to make selections. It works really well. Their menu system is really great. It also um, has um, semi-automated bed leveling, like a lot of printers, where it has a little servo arm inside there that flips down to level the bed. Um, and you just turn these two blue knobs. Works really well. I've never had any trouble with the prints not being level after um, going through that procedure. And I've only leveled it, I think, two or three times as I've moved the machine a little bit or, or uh, changed the tape. And like you can see here, there's some branded blue painter's tape. It's very much just normal blue painter's tape. But they also have some uh, really great, um, more build tack like surface. This one's been used a bit, um, which works really well. It has a little bit of texture. Uh, on a lot of prints where you might be crying because you don't have a heated bed, you won't really mind if you've got that. And yeah, so it's a single extruder, but it is very advanced. I took a little secret peek inside and saw just how advanced this extruder is. It won't ever clog on you as long as you're using their filament. It monitors things to make sure that the filament is moving. The load and unload procedures for filament uh, are really great. You really don't have to worry when you're using this printer. It just works really well. Print quality really is extremely good. Um, I did this in a couple parts, ran out of white filament, so for some reason he has a blue arm. Uh, but it turns out really, really good. Um, you can read my Aniwa review to see some of the more particular points. One thing that I didn't like as much um, about their software is their web-based software is very simple, great for educators, um, great if you just want to quickly get your print done or if, um, being able to manage it from the cloud since this has uh, internet capabilities. You can queue up a print uh, from their website through your account and send it to the printer without having to use the flash drive. But they do have like the flash drive option. It also has an ethernet option on the back. All of that works really well and I tested it. The good thing though is it's also compatible with Autodesk's um, print studio software. It's one of a handful of printers that Autodesk partnered with. Um, and you can do some more detailed things as far as changing some of your settings, um, which is what I did with this one. This one was at 100 microns. I tested a few models at 100 microns like the Benchy that you'll see on the Aniwa review. Uh, the one thing that can be difficult that actually worked out okay on this model is that the supports in that software since Autodesk bought Mesh Mixer are those mes Mesh Mixer tree supports. 
which work really well for a model like this, in fact, but some models with um, big overhangs uh, really benefit, I think, from accordion support or something else. The maximum build volume on this machine is 10 inches by 6 inches uh, by 6.7 inches, which is a decent size, a big upgrade from the original Dremel Idea Builder. Um, the 3D40 does come with a flash drive. It also has some built-in internal storage with some preloaded files that you can print literally as soon as you plug it in and load up some filament. So again, just to summarize, this is a really awesome 3D printer for the right customer. I think teachers, um, educators of any kind, uh, public libraries, maker spaces, or um, perhaps even in the home for parents who are looking for a 3D printer that is good for their kids and they're trying to get their kids interested in engineering or something more interesting than sitting on their butts all day long. But this is great for a lot of professionals too who are fine with just using PLA. The software mostly just left me wanting in the area of support material options, but I was really glad it was compatible with Print Studio because Autodesk makes great software, and that slicer gave me a lot of other capabilities that I, I really needed. Um, if you guys have any questions, anything that I missed, please let me know. Again, I want to reiterate um, that this is the same model that you get in that base package for uh, $12.99 but this is the education model, so there's those two options. I believe you can find the uh, information on their website if you want more detail, but please go to aniwa.com and check out the full written review that I did there. You'll get a lot more information if you're more interested. This is just to kind of pique your interest. And yeah, keep on making awesome stuff, guys, and there's more reviews coming. See you later.